Hey everybody, this is David Wrigley, and today we're going to spend a little time learning about the science behind bicycles. Bicycles are an amazing form of transportation. Believe it or not, there are over one billion bicycles on planet Earth, and bicycling is the most abundant form of transportation. There are so many scientific achievements built into today's bicycles. From these tension spoke wheels to the carbon alloy frame, these air filled rubber pneumatic tires and inner tubes, this friction force braking system, and our topic for today the chain ring gear and sprocket sets that makes bicycling the most energy efficient way to get from A to B. Check this out. Right now, our chain is attached to this ring, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 28 teeth, or these little sharp pointy things on each of these. And it's attached right now to the back wheel where this ring has 14 teeth. Okay, so what's that mean? Well, gears like this honor a ratio relationship. Check this out, 28 teeth to 14 teeth. Well, that could be reduced to two to one, which means if I rotate this pedal one time, the wheel will move two times. Uh, watch that reflector. I spin this. That's half a spin. Now I go one other half, and the wheel spun twice. This is an amazing thing. This made bicycles so much easier for us to ride. This time, I'm on a chain ring which has 28 teeth in the front and 28 teeth in the back, which is a one-to-one -one relationship, which should mean this wheel is gonna spin one time every time I turn the pedals, one revolution. All right, let's try it, ready? One to one. Now we have our chain ring on our largest ring. This ring has 48 teeth. Okay, and it's attached back here to a ring that only has 16 teeth. So this is one last math problem for you 48 to 16. Well, that could be reduced to. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you try to figure that out on your own. Uh, so, good luck, have fun, and enjoy doing your math problems. I hope you had fun learning about one small but important scientific component of bicycles. Now, go ahead, grab your bike, strap on your helmet, and go for a ride around town or the park or wherever you can. And enjoy. I know I will. Smart inside!